Hey Cal fans, I'm Francesca Weems, your host, and this is the February 1st edition of This Week in Cal Athletics. Thanks for joining us. Your regular host, Chelsea Brown, couldn't be with us today, but I'm looking forward to letting you know all about what's coming up this week. Let's get started. The men's basketball team is on a three-game winning streak, and the Bears have won five of their last seven games as they prepare to host Arizona and Arizona State this weekend. Don't miss out on the action at Haas Pavilion. On a different court, women's tennis senior Marie Anderson has been a consistent force for the Golden Bears. The 46th ranked Swedish native has logged 10 singles wins and 18 more in doubles this season. Anderson's consistent play helped the Bears earn one of 15 bursts into the 2011 ITA National Indoor Championships with two victories this weekend. We caught up with the senior as the team is preparing to take on Pac-10 rival UCLA this Friday. Here's our conversation. Hi, I'm here with Marie Anderson. Can you tell us a little bit about what it's like on the, for the team dynamic when you switch from tournament play to individual matches? Um, it's quite a big difference. Um, well, for me, it's... Uh, when we play individual tournaments, we some of the team they travel to one place and the other half of the team travels to another place. So it kind of we kind of split split up when uh, we play individual. And um, plus we're not playing at the same time uh, most of the time. So you you could be playing next to like a completely random you know uh, player. But now when we play the team matches, you play next to your teammates and you know they cheer for you and you cheer for them. So it, it's actually a big difference. With perennial powers like UCLA in the mix, how do you guys prepare for them? Um, I guess the preparations are the same for every match. We have our, you know, stuff that we do before warm-ups and everything. But I mean, of course, when you play, you know, a really good team that you know very well, I mean, there there are some things that you want to be more like careful about. Like you, you know, I don't know, you take some extra shots at practice. You just do a little, you know think a little more of how you prepare, I think. But in general, we're trying to prepare the same for every match. What parts of the team do you think you guys have done well this season and what are you looking to improve on? Um, I mean, so far this season, we haven't played that many matches and I feel like we are still like coming together as a team when we play. Um, and um, I think we have you know, some stuff to improve there, but um, as every match that goes by, I think we're doing better and better, and we're also getting more, you know, ready to play matches. So, so that's good. Now, fans may not know the difference between indoor and outdoor, and I know the team is preparing to play some indoor matches. Um, which do you like better? Uh, I like to play indoors better. It's uh, it's better for my game because I play a little faster, which makes uh, I get a more advantage uh, because the surface is faster. And also the fact that there's no sun and wind makes it different. Um, but and just the fact that it goes faster is, is the biggest difference. Well, thank you so much for joining us and best of luck to you this season. Thank you. On the hard court, men's basketball will look to extend its three game winning streak when the Sun Devils come to town. Tip is at 8 p.m. on Thursday and the game will be aired on Fox Sportsnet. Arizona takes a court on Saturday for a 5 p.m. game. Tickets for both games are still available. Purchase yours today at calbears.com or by calling 800-GO-BEARS. From the court, we head over to the pool, where the men's swimming team will host Pac-10 rival USC for a dual meet on Friday at 1 p.m. Come back out on the next day as the Bears take on Cal State Bakersfield in a Saturday matinee. Out on the courts of the Hellman Tennis Complex, come out and cheer on your Bears as the ninth-ranked women's tennis team takes on number five-ranked UCLA at 1.30 p.m. this Friday. Don't miss out on the high-flying action of the women's gymnastics team. The ladies will take on Sacramento State on Sunday at 2 p.m. at Haas Pavilion. On the road, women's basketball will take on Arizona and Arizona State. The men's gymnastics team is in Las Vegas for the Winter Cup Challenge, and the women's water polo team is out at Stanford for a tournament. Women's golf will hit the links in Tucson for the Wildcat Invitational. Remember, you can catch the Cal Sports Report on Comcast Sportsnet California every Wednesday. Check your local listings for availability. You can listen to Cal on the airwaves at KNEW 910 AM every Monday evening from 6 to 7 PM on the Cal Coaches Corner with host Todd McKim. Click above to see the CalBears.com composite schedule for a listing of all Cal events. And if you haven't already, check out the new CalBears.com Bear Blog. Thanks for tuning in to This Week in Cal Athletics. Come on out and support your Golden Bears. We'll see you next time. Go Bears!